Let's talk about that small group of Republicans that are never Kevin. Why are they against McCarthy? So there's a couple reasons. One, it is symbolic. They are trying to make a statement that they don't want to move forward with the status quo. And this is sort of uh, a holdover of Trumpism in a way, just this chaotic style of governing simply to make a statement, create chaos in order to leverage these, these their negotiating power for a small set of demands, some of which would have a major effect, some of which would not. Um, so yes, they've uh, these five members have agreed to vote as a block. They've stuck to that thus far. It will be interesting to see if that holds true as the days unfold. Can you elaborate a bit on what these demands are that they have? Yes. So McCarthy has as of Wednesday evening, agreed to several of them. The most significant one is lowering the threshold for the motion to vacate. Currently, a majority of the conference of the party that is in power, so now, now it's Republicans, previously it was Democrats, must agree to force a vote to eject the speaker in order for that vote to be brought forth. McCarthy initially agreed last week knowing that he did not have the votes to clinch the speakership to lower the threshold to five. On Wednesday evening, he agreed to lower that threshold to just one. And this say, uh, sets up a very chaotic situation where at any point, any member can, can step forward and say, I disagree with what leadership is proposing. And so I think that we should eject the speaker and Congress would be forced to deal with that and vote on it. And there would just be you know, a whole mess of a situation uh, that, that would detract from actual legislating. And so it really hamstrings his power. But he did get that. That is their most significant demand. And he did give into that on Wednesday, reportedly. Um, in addition, they want uh, congressional leadership packs to stay out of primaries, namely the Congressional Leadership Fund, which conservatives believe tends to back moderate candidates in primaries. The Congressional Leadership Fund has agreed to do that. Um, and then in addition, there were a series of changes to committee assignments. The House Freedom Caucus, which is a coalition of right-wing members, wanted more representation on the House Rules Committee. McCarthy has also agreed to that. And there were also a number of changes to the budgeting process that they wanted. They want to take separate, as we've talked about before, the budget bill, it's called an omnibus bill because there are 12 separate pieces of legislation that Congress votes on simultaneously when it passes the budget each year. The conservatives want to vote individually on all 12 pieces of that legislation. And they also want to vote on, you know, earmarks are typically lumped in and lawmakers use them to fund pet projects in their home districts. The conservative lawmakers also want to vote separately on earmarks. How exactly they'll do that, whether they'll do that in one lump sum package or vote on all the individual earmarks uh, is up for debate. We don't know that yet, but McCarthy has agreed to those budget changes as well that I've just laid out.